Welcome to my Road to Completion Guide for Resident Evil 2 Remake. If you haven't watched Episode 0, make sure to do that now because it contains very important information about this guide. The link is in the description and my pinned comment. Adjust your brightness to the recommended levels. Choose Claire Redfield and select Hardcore Difficulty. The gas station doubles as a tutorial. Pay attention to the on-screen directions and follow me to get the key. Are you okay? Wait here. I'll check it out. Run past the enemy before it gets up and grab the key. Don't come any closer! Don't worry about getting bit on the way out because your health will be fully restored after leaving the gas station. Use the key to open the door so we can meet up with Leon. Avoid the enemies and make your way to the RPD station to unlock a trophy called Welcome to the City of the Dead. Can't stop. Gotta keep moving. It's like the end of the world. The police station. Almost there. <laughs> Press the touchpad, then tap R1 to pull up our inventory. Press X to select the key, then choose Discard. Tap R1 again and spam the X button to read the file called Letter from Best Friend. Go inside the RPD station and grab the handgun ammo upstairs. Spam the X button and the game will automatically combine the handgun ammo into our inventory. If you purchased the rewards add-on pack, which gives you access to weapons with infinite ammo, skip this step and grab the line medallion. Solve the nearby puzzle to get the line medallion. Here's the solution. Place the lime medallion under the statue. If you purchase the add-on pack, check the storage box and grab the ATM-4 rocket launcher and put away your ammo. Once again, watch episode 0 for more information about weapons with infinite ammo. Link is in the description and my pinned comment. Check the enemy in the briefing room for more handgun ammo. Focus, Claire. Focus. Ah. 
grab the first aid spray in the bathroom. Read the officer's notebook to get credit for another file. Wait behind the desk until the enemy tries to grab you, then leave the room. Hug the right wall of the hallway to avoid enemies on the way back to the main hall. If by chance you take damage, Use the first aid spray we picked up earlier to stay alive. So nobody knows what caused this? Take the combat knife and open the gate nearby. If you still have first aid spray, follow me and place it in the item box. I'm getting rid of my first aid spray to simulate getting bit in the hallway and needing to heal. Grab the first aid spray, ink ribbons, and place all your first aid spray in storage. Follow me through the RPD station to pick up more handgun ammo. Cripple the enemy near the vending machines and kill him with the combat knife. This action unlocks a trophy called Don't Need No Stinking Gun. Hold L1 to pull up the sub weapon menu and use the D-pad to select the knife. Continue holding L1 and spam R2 to use it. Kill the other enemy with the knife as well. Grab the following items from the West Office. Gunpowder. A file called Uses of Gunpowder. Just make sure to read it. And the handgun ammo from the locker. Open the safe using the following combination to get the hip pouch. 9 left, 15 right, 7 left. This action unlocks a trophy called First Time Break-In and you'll get the hip to add squares trophy for picking up the hip pouch. Shoot the Mr. Raccoon on top of the shelf to unlock the vermin extermination trophy. Read the operation report. Read the file labeled Rookie's First Assignment and crack both locks on the desk. The lock on the left is NED and the one on the right is MRG.
Grab the speed loader and combine it with the pistol to unlock two trophies, customizer and the basics of survival. Key in 109 and press enter to gain access to more handgun ammo. <sighs> Quickly grab the green herb and the wooden board. Board up the nearby window to pop a trophy called That'll Hold Em. Check the lockers inside the dark room for more ink ribbons and handgun ammo. Make sure to combine your handgun ammo as much as possible for extra space. Grab the red herb and combine it with the green one. Now place three ink ribbons in the herb mixture in storage. Use the ink ribbon to save your progress, then press the options button to check your time, which should be less than 20 minutes. Grab the handgun ammo upstairs and kill the enemy. Open the portable safe in the locker room to unlock a trophy called a vault-like mine. The solution is random, so you'll need to press the buttons in the correct order. I like to assign a number to each button, which helps me remember the pattern. Work your way through each button until you activate two green lights. In my case, it was one and six. Now I just need to find the next number in the sequence, which ends up being four. Keep this up to open the safe. Go upstairs, grab the handgun ammo, and get the spade key off the desk. (sighs) 
In the next room, you'll find gunpowder and a wooden board. What was that? Shoot the enemy hanging from the ceiling until it falls to the floor. Then grab the handgun ammo off the shelf. something to show you it's important all right i'm on my way kill the enemy roaming around the library but stay near the stairs to avoid waking up other enemies in the area there's gunpowder in the next room that we can use to make more handgun ammo Now get the unicorn medallion. Move the bookshelves in the library to find more handgun ammo. This also sets us up perfectly to complete a sequence later in the run. The nearby enemy will not bother you as long as you don't touch the gray ladder on the left. Use the spade key to unlock the door leading back to the main hall. The enemy sitting on the floor will not bother you as long as you keep your distance. Now place the unicorn medallion under the statue. Use the spade key to unlock the door leading to the west office, but don't go inside. Instead, set up a save and check your time. It should be less than 27 minutes. Go upstairs and read the guide pamphlet sitting on the desk. Use the spade key for the last time so we can get rid of it. It turns a museum into a police. police station. Grab the weapons locker key card before going downstairs. Pick up the handgun ammo and the cutting tool. Marvin? This is bad. You've got zombies everywhere. Marvin? Marvin, are you there? Marvin? I think I'm kidding you. Use the cutting tool to open the door and kill the enemies. There's a total of five enemies between here and the main hall. They will attack randomly, so be careful. You can maintain the advantage by shooting enemies in the hallway, and if you get outnumbered, Go outside and reset. What the hell is up with you? Oh, not good. 
good. Board up the window, grab the handgun ammo off the floor, and pick up the flash grenade. Look for the fuse in front of the door and use it to activate the gate leading back to the main hall. If you haven't killed all five enemies, be careful opening the door. More handgun ammo can be found in the storage closet around the corner. Backtrack and grab the round wheel along with the white high grade gunpowder. Check the nearby desk for gunpowder so we can make acid rounds. Now go to the main hall and drop the acid rounds in the item box. After that, kill both enemies in the nearby hallway.
Switch to the combat knife and tap L1 after being grabbed by the enemy wearing the safety jacket to pop a trophy called Eat This. We can run to avoid the enemies crawling through the windows. Get rid of the cutting tool after using it for the last time. Grab the electronic gadget and flash grenade before going back to the weapons locker. Place the spare key in the number two slot. Use the weapons locker key card to gain access to the GM-79 grenade launcher and flame rounds. Use the D-pad to select the grenade launcher and load it with one flame round. Now let's kill the cop in the hallway. Check the last locker on the right for more flame rounds. Use the code CAP to open the nearby locker for more flame rounds. Use the round wheel to remove the steam in the shower area. We can find more gunpowder and flame rounds on the way to the star's office. Just make sure to run in the hallway to avoid getting attacked by the liquor. Get the battery and combine it with the electronic gadget to make a detonator. Grab the white high-grade gunpowder and mix it with the gunpowder we already have for more acid rounds. A flash grenade and more flame rounds are located between the desk. Grab those and follow me to the library. Since the liquor is active, we'll need to walk in the hallway to avoid detection. Grab the combat knife and use the detonator upstairs to destroy the barricade. Make sure to come back into the library before the explosion so we can skip the sequence where the shelf falls and blocks the exit. Here's the solution to the next puzzle so we can get the Maiden Medallion. <sighs> 
slowly walk forward and use a flash grenade to stun the liquor's sense of hearing. This action unlocks a trophy call to keep their heads ringing. Run back to the main hall and place the maiden medallion under the statue to reveal a secret passage. Open the gate to unlock a trophy called a Path to the Goddess. Pick up the flame rounds, ink ribbon, and place the acid rounds in the item box. Now save your progress and check your time. The goal is to be under 40 minutes. Follow me so we can pick up a hand grenade. Switch to the combat knife and move the cabinet to fight the boss. When the fight starts, hit him roughly 18 times with the knife. When he grabs you, counter with the knife. This room is one giant rectangle, and three of the four corners contain items. Follow me to find more handgun ammo, a hand grenade, and a green herb. Use both grenades and nine flame rounds to finish him off. The trick to fighting this boss is to run around the rectangular area and bait him into attacks by aiming. Aiming slows down your character, and since he's programmed to swing each time he gets close, we can take advantage. If he ever disappears, keep running around the area until he drops down and grabs you. He'll follow up by swinging the pipe, but all you have to do is run in the opposite direction to avoid getting hit. He never did this attack on me, but as long as you keep running, you'll be okay. It's better to load our previous save instead of using healing items since we'll need those for later in the game. Follow me so we can pick up more handgun ammo and a red herb. We can mix that red herb with the green herb in our inventory.
More handgun ammo can be found on the opposite side of the room, along with another green herb. Climb the ladder, grab the gunpowder from the locker and the green herb off the floor. This way. Place the following items in storage. All healing items, gunpowder, flame rounds, and the GM-79 grenade launcher. Grab the ink ribbon from the locker, save your progress, and check your time. If your time is less than 45 minutes, you may continue to episode two. My name is Exonovit. See you in the next one. Be good.